Dude, is that it? That's it. It's just a little trouble. It's a little tight. For years, you guys have been telling us to build a lifted go-kart. So today we are starting a lifted monster truck go-kart build. We have a truck fiberglass body here and a broken ATV with good suspension bits there. So we're hoping to kind of slap them together and make a lifted go-kart because um, it's September and here in North Carolina, it's like rainy season here. We get hit by like, like it seems like a hurricane every single September. So we're just doing our part in hurricane prep here by building a lifted go-kart. So my brother gave me and John this fiberglass truck body five months ago. In fact, it was the night we first aired on the Velocity Channel, the Ducati cart build. Uh, if y'all hadn't seen that video, maybe you can go back and watch it. It's Velocity. Velocity or... Dispatch season one, episode one. Yep. Google it. Me and John are videoing right now. So you are on speaker. What the? And we are uh, wondering where this truck body came from. The truck body came from a gentleman that tired iron that uh, is near here. They sell used parts, you know, motorcycle parts, go kart stuff, stuff. Okay, well, so it's just a kind of a uh, used. It was just a, a truck body frame, or not a frame, but a, a cover that he had at the shop. He had a couple of them. Okay. All right, man. Well, uh, me and John appreciate your contribution to uh, cars and cameras. Not a problem. So, uh, any kind of shout out to anybody? Uh, no, just have no. fun and be careful, you guys. Okay, and this is my brother from All Out Bikes. That's right. Yeah. So, where are you from? Where's far? Where's it at? Four Oaks, North Carolina. There we go. All right, dude. I appreciate it. All right. Right. See you, man. So we've been holding on to this and now we're finally doing something with it. In fact, I want to do a couple of things with it. Do we need to tell them the other thing we're do it, about man. doing? Okay, so this one, our first build is going to be a lifted uh, monster truck. I want to make it where this body will unbolt from the frame and bolt onto another go-kart frame. A slammed go-kart. The slammed mini truck, dude. Slammed mini truck. <laughs> uh, I think that'll be pretty cool. Yeah. You can uh, make it throw sparks and stuff. I want to put it on bags. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want to be able to lift it up yeah. and slam it and all that stuff. Maybe we can, while riding it, we can oh, lower it and throw some sparks and stuff. Yes. Yeah. I think that'll be cool. But we're going to do a monster truck first. Yes. Yes. So we have no idea what year this fiberglass body's from, but it's in pretty good shape. It has a couple iffy spots, a couple cracks. Looks like there might be a couple of uh, weak points in it, but overall it's, it's really not bad enough that we even have to repair it. So we're between either building a chassis from scratch, but we think the $50 go-kart chassis might fit under here decently enough to where we can kind of modify it, tweak it, uh, and put suspension under it. But first look. <laughs> Fits under the Back to the Future. Yeah. Or fits on the Back to the Future car. That looks pretty cool, dude. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Uh, that's actually pretty darn close. Oh, the steering wheel. All right, so the steering wheel is a problem. Yeah. That is a problem. I think this is our frame. All right. Except we're gonna want suspension and stuff, right? Yeah. So now we got to take the steering wheel off and see if the body will actually fit on the frame. And then when it does, then we can worry about suspension. Suspension. Articulation. I might as well say 34 inches. Oh <laughs> my it's goodness. Identical. <laughs> nice. Let's put it on the outside. Oh nice. So now we can put a front plate on. <laughs> Dude, is that it? That's it. Just a little trouble. It's a little tight. Okay, if I put my legs way out past where the gas pedal and brake pedal are, I'm fine. Brake pedal. Let us know in the comments, do you guys in the rest of the world, have you ever heard of the Carolina Squat? 
let us know. We're just kind of playing with our options here, you know. We decided to put the big tires on the back just as a mock-up. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It looks like a Hot Wheels or something. Yeah, well the frame is going to be up against the body. Oh, it's going to be leveled, yeah. Stuff, so. Alright, so uh, rear suspension first? I'm thinking rear suspension first. The rear suspension is going to require the most fabricating, so that's what we're going to start with. Uh, we're going to do a trailing arm setup here. So, kind of similar to my truck, I drew it on the board here. So, here's kind of a rough picture drawing of the trailing arm we're going to be using. So the engine is going to be mounted in the regular spot. The engine is going to use either a clutch or a torque converter, whichever is going to fit better, to a big sprocket. And then uh, we're going to use a small sprocket on the regular axle that's going to result in some gear reduction to another small sprocket. And this is where the magic happens. We're going to have another chain running down here uh, to a big sprocket, so more gear reduction. Uh, and then the wheel is going to be mounted here. So we need to make this right here is what we need. So the cart is up on jacks about as high as we want it to be. So now we can take those rear wheels off and get working on the rear suspension. So, yeah, we should. All right, so I'm gonna start by taking this axle apart. Now this is the very first Go Power Sports live axle kit that we ever installed on a go-kart and it's still working like a champ. We put it in the water, spin around the cars and cameras Grand Prix half a million times. It's been abused and it's still working like a champ. It's not moving. Didn't look like it was budging. Hmm. See, the axle may be uh, rust free, but that brake caliper is not, or not the caliper, but the yeah. brake rotor is not. Yeah, that's a good point. I just want to point out that I just took the bearing off of this axle and it, it's still, it's, it's not chunky or anything. Uh, it's got a lot of miles on it. We put a lot of miles on this car. A lot of miles, a lot of nautical miles, too. A lot of nautical miles, too. And the bearings have held up great. Look at that. Nice. All right, okay. so we have a choice of a bunch of sprockets here. Uh, we got them from our local farm, farm supply store. Um, and we're just going to see which one we can get to slide on. And hopefully the chain will clear this part of the frame. Because if it doesn't, we're going to have some problems. Ooh, wow, does that clear, dude? It does. So to make our trailing arms, we're gonna use some square tubing, some cast iron pillow blocks, and some parts from gopowersports.com, including their live axle kit uh, with the bearings and the axle hangers and their nifty little weldable gussets. You can find links to those in the description of this video. They're really nifty. They come in handy in almost every single project we do. And of course, you can get 10% off most items at gopowersports.com with our discount code CC10. Trevor. All right. Good morning guys, it's the start of a new day. We got a little bit of a late start this morning because there's actually a hurricane coming uh, the day after tomorrow or so. Uh, could be a category four at this point. Of course, you're gonna see this like a week or two weeks later, so hopefully everything's fine by then. But uh, Ike has been running around his properties and getting stuff ready, so. Yep. You've been up late I was up, up late early. and up early. Yeah. So. Forgive me if I don't seem my normal self. <laughs> It'll be fine. Driver. So we didn't have angle iron thick enough to use as mounts for our pillow blocks, so I cut four pieces of flat bar and made angle iron by welding them together. I cleaned the underside of the frame with a hamburger wheel where we were going to weld. And if you're enjoying the video so far, leave us a thumbs up. I also wanted to let you guys know that we are safe. Hurricane Florence weakened to a category one and really, really wasn't bad at all in our area. We appreciate your comments and concern in Monday's video, and we hope you guys are high and dry as well. Cool. We have to drill some holes in these plates to fit this. And this is a little trick I learned back in the day. You just get a little spray paint. And 
and bam! Now you know where to drill your holes. What we got is a pillow block bolted to this swing arm and we're gonna have a live axle going through the pillow block. That live axle is gonna be spinning and this arm's gonna be pivoting on it at the same time. Pretty ingenious, I think. Oh yeah. Yes. Jack shaft and gear reduction and suspension piece. Pivot point. Pivot point, that's right. Yeah. Let her rip. Go for it. Woo, woo. Can I let go? Yeah. Sweet. Oh yeah, buddy. Trailing arm number one. Bam. Gear. All right, you're gonna have to help me with the other one. The other trailing arm. Stop. We're in there. There we go. This could be really cool, man. It has potential. Yeah. So we got the suspension right here. And just imagine that this is a live axle kit from Go Power Sports. So uh, the bearing bolts up here and then the axle slides through. And so we got, we have all that. We have almost infinite travel. <laughs> Whatever we feel like yeah. putting on it, we can, we can do it. Yep. So. Uh, and the cool thing is, this is going to be the axle. This is the axle spinning, but yeah, here's the suspension, and it's on the axle. Yes, sir. So the sprocket coming to the sprocket on the final axle, no matter how much movement you got, the chain never loosens or tightens. Yep, because it, it never gets farther away. It never gets farther or closer. It stays the exact same way. So that's why we went with this setup. Pretty cool design. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so now we need to take everything back apart so we can weld the sprocket up, put our collars on, and keep going. Cover. Now, we, we have to put the collar on. Yes, the collar's going on the inside. On the inside. And two sprockets. Yes. And the little one. All right, where's the hammer? Hold it. Go for it. Oh. <laughs> you can see the sprocket turning. Yep. Look at that articulation. Yeah, if we could keep it like that. So the rear suspension is almost done. Everything's welded up. Uh, our sprockets are going to work out. It's going to clear this rear piece of the frame, which is a big concern for us. We have some gear reduction going on. Remember, engine to clutch to big sprocket, which is going to be gear reduction to small sprocket to big sprocket, gear reduction, and then small sprocket to another big sprocket for even more gear reduction. We can't fit a torque converter on this project, so we're gonna to need to use a centrifugal clutch, and those are not known for low-end torque, so that's why we're doing so much darn gear reduction. They're not known for staying cool when they're sitting there slipping the whole time either. Yeah. yeah. So at least with all this gear reduction, it should lock in. So we're not gonna be looking at a very high top speed with this project. We're thinking like 20, 15, 15. not fast. We want this thing to crawl 
We're going to be ending this video here today, though, because we have a hurricane coming in like two or three days. We need to prepare for that. And we're also trying to get ahead on videos, keep the regular schedule going, even though we're anticipating losing power for who knows how long. Um, but thanks for watching this video, guys. The rear suspension is close to being done. We still need to, to weld in our coilover suspension um, and also brace it up and stuff. Get the whole chains going, get the engine mounted. And the front suspension should be pretty easy because we're just going to be kind of taking that directly off the ATV we have over there. So leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today, guys. It helps our content get seen by more people. And don't forget about our discount code CC10 at gopowersports.com to get yourself an even better deal on parts. Uh, Cars-cameras.com. Support the channel by picking up one of our shirts or stickers. And uh, be safe out there if you're uh, like us in eastern North Carolina or South Carolina or even Virginia for this Hurricane Florence coming up. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.